Yes, your boy G Corner Man Boxing got the pleasure, my man Big Price. You know what I'm saying? We in the building, champ. How we feeling, man? Feeling good. I'm feeling great. So you know, you, you recently joined the pro ranks, two and oh, two knockouts, all in the first round, champ. Talk yes, to sir. me, man. Shoot. Yeah, not many people can say they got two round experiences. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So, only two fights. Uh huh. So now, so, you, now not, you back March March seventh, I believe. Exactly. So you know March seventh, I'm, I'm planning to get that first round stoppage. That's what I gotta do. I've been training for that. So if I don't get it, you know it is what it is. But I definitely plan on doing that. My first couple of fights are gonna be first round for sure, cause. These are gonna be some tomato cans. That's, right. That's what I'll be getting, you know. That's how that's what you see in front of them, all of them tomato yeah, cans, no matter cans. who they put in there. No matter who's who it is, <laughs> tomato. Tomato tomato. Right, yeah. right. So I mean how, how how your experience been so far, you know what I'm saying? From the amateurs compared to the pros, what you think of the differences and things like that? No, yeah, it's a big difference because now the pace is slower. Uh you can't you can't be as fast as you supposed to be in the amateurs. When you turn pro you gotta you gotta slow yourself down because it's more rounds. I'm only doing four rounds, so I'm not really up to that that section. It's more of like difference for me is the headgear uh, and no shirt. That was that was weird for me, you know. Usually I got a shirt on, but now now I gotta wear smaller gloves uh, and just make sure you don't get headbutt. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my fear getting headbutt, and then now you gotta stop the fight because of a, a headbutt that it's not even part of the fight, you know. But, right, right. Basically, everything else is the same. You got punch, you know what I'm saying, sweet weave, you know, right. slip. Make sure you hurt your opponent. Don't get hurt. Right. I mean, you getting them out early, so there's not much chance for all that headbutt stuff going exactly. on. You know what I'm you know saying? saying? They're paying the price. But that's what it is. <laughs> that's you know what they're saying? doing, right? So y'all already know, don't blink. Get the popcorn early because my man coming with that. Exactly. Don't be late. Right. Now, Chad, you've you been a little active, I believe, right? You had two fights so far, and, and how long ago you turned pro? I uh, turned pro. Uh, honestly, my f I actually turned pro for the TCO. All right, yeah, so the I combat had, league. Congratulations on that yeah, as well. Yeah, on that. Yeah. So the honestly, the TCL helped me a lot with that experience for mm. the transition from the to from amateur to pro. Right. Uh, no headgear. It was one round, but that's a lot of experience with with fighters that's been in the ring with 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 very good fighters. Uh, there was a couple of fighters I fought. One dude I fought. He he had fought Lewis Ortiz before. Oh wow. He didn't win, but. <laughs> he still he still had the experience of fighting Lewis Ortiz and he bring it into the ring. He uh he didn't he didn't get the best of me but uh the experience of getting the jitters out. That's all it was, getting the jitters out, mm. being able to walk to the ring and, and get inside and, and feel what the feel what the atmosphere feel like. So right, I right. already I'm used to the atmosphere now and once I get in that ring I'm I'm there to do what I gotta do. Right. Let's get that first how, how'd you feel about it? Are you still eligible for another uh, one of those tournaments? How does that uh, work? Yeah I can still do it. Uh right now they trying to get the contracts right but uh I don't know we're gonna see what the contract look like. So right, right. I gotta get my pro my uh, regular pro right uh fights up. Mm, yeah, right, so right. Start the... fighting them in Saudi Arabia like every other heavyweight. Right, fight, right. You know what I'm I mean, you bringing back the heavyweight division of Brooklyn, Trent. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? You know it's been saying, a little exactly. while. We had the Mike Tyson, the Shannon Briggs, yeah. Riddick Bowe. You know, now you get to carry that torch. Exactly. You Bring know my what I'm own name to it. Yeah. Right, right. You feel, right. You feel you're going to have that same impact on the game? Oh, yeah, for sure. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to bring Brooklyn back to, this, to the scene mm. for heavyweights. You mm, know what I'm no doubt, Chan. So, so what message do you have, man, for everybody? You know, because you're going to inspire a lot of young yeah. kids around. They've seen you come pretty much from nothing. Now you working your way, you know what exactly. I'm saying? What, what, what experience, what message you got for them? Uh, I got it. For the kids, definitely got a message. Um, the best thing you could do, never say you can't do it no more. It's too late. Never say it's too late because it's never too late. Um, as long as you put your mind to it, you work and, and put your effort into it, don't, don't get, if you really want to do it, that's your plan A and don't have no other plan, no plan B, nothing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because if you have that plan B, that's a backup plan. And what you do is you rely on that backup plan if it don't work out. Right, right. If you don't got no back, no backup plan, you got to go 100%, 110, 120, 150% on that one thing you want to do. No matter what it is, boxing, basketball, mm. football, track, any sport, or, or you want to be a business, you want to do law, you want to read or, or write books, anything. It don't matter. Be an artist. Facts, Put facts. Put 100% into it. Because if you don't, who will? That's a you know fact. You gotta, you gotta do it yourself. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? 
So I mean, what kind of goals you have, Chan? Before we let you go, you know what I'm saying? What's what's like your plan and your uh -huh. main goal? What do you want to achieve in the sport? Shit. Undisputed champion of the world. Undisputed. Undisputed. That's the objective right there. Shit, the price is right. Oh, there you go. Yesterday's, you? yesterday's price is not today's price. Ah, oh, there Shit. you go, my yeah, man, coming, coming baby. I'm priceless, baby. <laughs> right, right. I love it. I love the energy. We know what you bring to the table, Chan. What message you got for all your fans? Everybody coming out, March seven. Listen. Do not go to the bathroom. Don't be late. It's gonna be first round. You gonna you gonna be upset because you paying for the tickets, not me. You know what I'm saying? There you have it. There yeah. you have it. All right, champ. For those that may not know you, where can we follow you? Uh, follow me at on Instagram at Price Taylor underscore twenty three. Uh, Facebook Price Taylor. Uh, I don't really have. I don't really use Twitter, but it's Price Taylor. Right, uh, right. And I got a YouTube channel, but it's not popping right now. But it's it's Price Taylor as well. Oh, actually, no, it's the Berserker. Mm. But I, I really go on Instagram a lot, so Price Taylor underscore twenty three. Right, right. You catch me there, DM me, whatever. You know, I respond. Uh, just don't be, those don't be no weirdo, man. Right, right. <laughs> let's go, y'all. Follow the champ, man. Future yeah. champ. Let's let's build them socials. Though. Everybody, go follow my guy. Show some love. Yes, this sir. is the future heavyweight boxing the right future, here, baby. The let's best. go, champ. New York's brightest prospect in the heavyweight division. Yes, we here, baby. We coming. Thank you for your time, champ. No problem.